In this video, we're going to be talking about the final order type that is available to us on the GDAX exchange, and that is going to be the stop order. The stop order is going to be the most complicated order type of the three. So at first we talked about market order. That's the simplest order type. The second one is a limit, and now the third one is going to be stop. Now the reason the stop order is the most complicated of the three types because it has more parameters than the other types. So you have more things that you have to configure. And then in addition, there's other potential market factors that can affect the behavior of this order. So we're going to talk about those. In order to use the stop order effectively, you're really going to need to be able to understand the order book really well. So make sure if you haven't watched the previous videos, go to the GDAX playlist on the Deep Lizard channel and go ahead and make sure you understand the order book and the other order types before continuing with this video. Let's begin. On the left side, we can see the order entry panel. We have stop selected. Now when you're using a stop order you can be on the buy side or you can be on the sell side now we're going to go ahead and demonstrate the stop order to start we're going to be on the sell side because the stop order is also known as a stop loss order sometimes you'll hear just a stop order and sometimes you'll hear stop loss order when you hear the word stop loss order that kind of makes sense because it says go ahead and stop my loss i want to stop my loss so if we're long, if we have purchased Bitcoin and we want to do a trade, then we want to protect that trade with a stop loss order. So we want to say at some point, say we're losing money, we bought Bitcoin, we're losing, we're losing, we're losing. And then we want to go ahead and we want to stop that loss. In that case, you're going to use a stop loss order or a stop order. So let's go ahead and choose for our side. We're going to go ahead and say we want to sell. So currently we are long 0.02 Bitcoin, which we purchased as Bitcoin in previous videos. Now we want to go ahead and say, okay, I want to stop the loss if this starts to get really bad because I don't want to keep holding a loss. I want to get out. I want to cut my losses. I want to run. The next thing that we're going to want to do is go ahead and specify our amount. So this is going to be a default parameter. We have to specify. We must specify the amount. So we're going to go ahead and specify it. And the way we're going to do it is we're going to choose pre-fill all. We select the total amount of Bitcoin that we currently have. And then that's going to populate it for us here in the amount section. The next parameter that we're going to go ahead and take a look at is going to be the stop price parameter. Stop price is going to be the price at which we want to stop our loss. We're going to tell GDAX, we're going to say at this price, we don't, we don't want to take any more losses. Stop the loss at this price. That means sell our current position, sell the amount that we have put into play here, this 0.02 Bitcoin. If we get to this price, we want to go ahead and we want to stop it. We want to be done. We want to sell. We want out. So let's just go ahead and choose a price. Now, in order to choose this price, what I want to do is just look here at the price chart and we can see this is a daily chart. We have candlesticks select and we have the amount in each candlestick represents one day. So if we just look here, we have day by day, we can see the price changing in this Bitcoin versus USD. What I want to do is I want to say, okay, up here, we kind of pivoted and we changed from going up to going down. We bought Bitcoin yesterday in the previous video and we want, we think it's going to go up, but if it doesn't go up and it starts to go down, it looks like this point here, this other pivot point that happened where we, we were coming down and then boom, we switched directions. It looks like if we pass through this, then we might want to go ahead and get out because it seems like if we break through this price level, Bitcoin could be going a lot lower. So we're going to use this price level here, this pivot point to set our stop price. So what we're going to do is just pick a good price. Let's just, it looks like about two, 3,225 looks like a good price. So let's go ahead and put that price in 3,225. We can go ahead and we can say we're going to place this order so we get a warning here this order may fill at a price less favorable than the stop price are you sure you would like to continue don't worry about this warning we're going to talk about this in a minute but let's go ahead and just say okay place order so we can see in our open order section now it says here stop at and gives us our stop price it tells us how much the size that's going to be that 0 0.02 bitcoin filled none has filled the price is going to be the market price and then we see the fee zero okay now the first question that might come to your mind we see this open order here the next question is is this order on the order book if we were to scroll down which they don't allow us to do if we were to scroll down all the way go ahead and look let's see if we can increase this the lowest they'll let us look on the order book is going to be 3270 so we can't get down there quite but if we could would we see this order on the order book and the answer is 
no, we would not see this order on the order book because this order is not posted to the order book just yet. What we have done is we have instructed GDAX. We have said, we want you to monitor the price of Bitcoin. And they said, okay, what price do you want us to use? And we said, we want you to use 3,225. So GDAX for our account, they, they have a condition. So they have a conditional. If you know about programming, you know, then there's these if then conditionals. And what GDAX is doing for us is saying, if the price price of Bitcoin goes to 3,225 or lower than that, then what we're going to do for this account is we're going to go ahead and we're going to place a market order. That's why it says price here, market. Okay, so that's a market order. If the price goes to the stop price or lower, then what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to place an order for this account to sell this size of Bitcoin. So if you know from previous videos, what that tells us is that GDX is going to initiate a market order on our behalf. It's going to be a sell order to get out of Bitcoin to liquidate this position. And so that is going to be a market order. So you are going to have to pay a fee for this and the fee is going to go ahead and be charged to you at the time of the execution. This is going to be a taker order. So we're, we are instructing with this stop order, we are instructing GDAX to take us out to go ahead and initiate a market order to take us out. It's going to be a taker. It's going to take the buy liquidity that's available at the time that this price actually trades at or below our stop price. So this is one way that you can go ahead and protect yourself. If you want to say, I don't want to worry about making the decision for myself. I want to go ahead and say, I want this to happen programmatically. I want code to actually execute this for me. I don't want my emotions to be involved. I don't want to see Bitcoin start dropping, dropping, dropping. I start getting fearful, fearful, fearful. And then all of a sudden I, what they say is called capitulate. I don't want to have to get capitulate and sell because I get scared. I just want the code to do it for me. I'm going to determine these prices before I actually place the order. And I'm just going to say GDAX, let your code execute, protect me if it starts going lower, but this will be a market order. Now there are ways to get around using a market order. And that's going to be, if you look over here in the advanced section, just here, it's going to be, look, we can place a limit order inside of this advanced section. The implications for that are going to be a little bit more complicated. So we're going to go into that in, a ne in the next couple of videos. But for now, what you need to know is that if you want to programmatically, so this is as if you were programming GDAX, to say, if a condition occurs, then I want you to act in this way. I want you to place a market order for me. I hope this video was helpful. Please like the video, subscribe, and support this Deep Lizard channel. Thank you.